what is going on guys? It's your boy Cecil here, bringing you guys a video here today, bringing you guys a text effect tutorial on how to create your own siphoning or yo right now it's called neon distorted right that's what you see going on here it looks really really freaking dope i really like it a lot however that's just like the sort of name that i just use to sort of describe what the actual text effect is all about but maybe like i'm i'm thinking like dark vibrant siphoning something weird and stupid like my titles are um so yeah we're gonna do that today i'm gonna show you guys this all this cool stuff and all that crazy stuff i don't know what i'm talking about anymore um <laughs> make sure you guys leave a like 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below and i do want to say thank you guys so very much for the support on my vlog video it had like it was doing really really well it's still doing really well it's it's it looks like it's doing normal amount of views which means there's like no real crazy change but i do really appreciate the fact that it's supported and it's not like it ain't do like do terrible anything like that so i really do appreciate you guys very 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 freaking much um and also it was really fun hanging out with bear but uh yeah okay so 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below which will mostly be the psd of this video so you can get all this nice cool nice neat organized sort of psd if you guys hit 200 likes so it'll probably hit it like the first 24 hours and then you'll see it in the next day in the actual description so all right, I'm ready to get this thing going. I don't know, I'm feeling real good today, but I don't know, like I'm just saying. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get this thing going. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide this group right here, and I'm gonna click on these two things, because I'm gonna use the word neon distorted one more time. So, the font that I am using in today's video is called Freestyle Script. I believe it is a custom, excuse me, a, uh, how do you say, uh, currently you have the font, I believe. I think it's already like a default font inside Photoshop or anything like that. So, it's a, I, it's really good, it's really simple for this one, and it really works out. However, the only thing is that it's not thick enough for the sort of effect that I would like. Um, so what I went ahead and did is I just double click on the, uh, the text layer, click on the word stroke, put my color to white or whatever color you have going on here, but I would start with white by the way. Um, and change your point size right here to three and just do the same exact thing for the other one. I can just really copy the layer style and then paste the layer style onto the distorted one as well. So now we have a text that looks a little bit more better. It's not so thin. It doesn't look so fragile. We want to be looking really, really good, right? So first things first is to go ahead and just sort of. Uh, we're going to group these two things together. Excuse me, not group them together. We're going to make two duplicates of them. So, Control J and then Control E to merge together. So, we're going to have one that's all, you know, combined and stuff like that. We're just going to call this, uh, uh, let's call it White Stroke. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so for this one, we're going to do, I'm just going to move it over so you can see. We're going to lower the fill all the way down to zero. This will get rid of the actual image picture. But what we're going to do is we're going to click, double click on this White Stroke here. And we're going to click on the Word Stroke. And we're going to make this color white again. And we're going to lower these points down to maybe, let's go with, I don't know, let's go at two maybe. Let, yeah, we'll go with two. Yep. So, I'm going to bring this back up here. And I'm going to place it somewhere that will sort of give it like this nice little 3D look here. But I'm going to move it a little bit more further up and just a little more not so, like, chill. Let's put on a skew on a little bit. Just to give it a little bit more of an angle, right? And I'll move it like this way, like that. There. So it kind of looks like 3D a little bit. That's pretty cool. What we're going to do is we're going to rasherize this layer type. That way when we erase it, the stroke does not mess around or mess up. Excuse me, mess up. And we're just going to delete a couple around, a couple spaces around here. We'll delete inside there. We'll like delete that. Just make it look cool, right? Uh, you have to really like concentrate on what the heck you're deleting either. Just make sure you kind of delete the, the lines all the way though. Don't like leave it showing. I don't know. It really doesn't matter because really we're just kind of building this like really cool 3D text for when we use like the liquify and text effects stuff like that. Um, excuse me, filter galleries on text effects, filter gallery. So it'll look a little bit better. So that looks pretty good, right? All right. So we're going to do this one more time though. We're going to do another duplicate of these two things. Control J, Control E, merge together. And for this one, we're gonna put, by the way, I'm always gonna put them below the actual main text for now until we start doing the other stuff where I'm gonna put on top of it. So this one right here is gonna be called, I'm gonna call this pink stroke. So we're gonna do, of course, you probably guessed it, lower the fill down again to zero. Pink stroke, put a nice little stroke color on. Let's make a nice little pink here, I believe. This is a pretty good pinkish tone. I, this is not the same as a like hashtag I had before, but for just tutorial purpose, I'm gonna go with this like right here uh, yeah right there so f2 3 2 5 f is the f or excuse me is the pink that i am using i'm gonna press ok i'm gonna make this a little more thicker by the way let's put this on like the center and i think that looks okay let's bring it down to like maybe four because here you have that white stroke that's really thick uh thin so let's go ahead and put this one like right here yes somewhere like okay that's okay this is good mm, that'll work all right so right now rash is layer type again and then layer style excuse me and then it's gonna race again just like so um 
Try not to race in the same exact spots, but you know, whatever happens, happens. Uh, there we go. We don't have to go crazy about it, but that looks pretty good right there. We're just trying to make it nice and sort of, like I said, we're just trying to make layers. That way the effect looks way better in the, like the end, right? So I'm going to do this one more time. Another good of this. I said one more time, like four times, but I think this is actually the last time. Um, no, it's not. I lied. All right. So we're just going to call this like pink overlay. Yeah, sure. So for this one right here, we're going to change this color to the, uh, the pink that we have going on here which was this one right here. Press OK, press OK again. And we're gonna do, just gonna move this around like so to maybe like around here looks pretty okay. And I'm gonna rash this really quickly. That way when I double click on this again, I can use a uh, gradient overlay, put it on overlay, and then lower the opacity down to like something around here, which looks pretty good right now. Again, we're gonna rash the type again. So that way when we go ahead and erase now, this is all with a soft, soft brush eraser. We're just gonna erase around here, try to give it a nice little like a nice little weird depth going on here you'll start to see like the effect come in you'll be like oh that's our racing stuff looks pretty good and that looks okay all right so with this little pink overlay i'm going to make a uh clip mask on the actual uh, the layer itself here i'm going to choose a nice little blue just to give it sort of like a nice two-tone color here so it's not so boring okay we're going to put this on let's see if what happens if i put it on an overlay but it should be yeah We'll leave it on normal, just lower the opacity down then. Let's give a nice little weird sort of two-tone color here, because we're kind of going for a neon effect. So right now, everything here looks very dull, but the sort of uh, combination of like multiplied like layers and the filters and all that crazy stuff, it's going to look really, really good. So I believe we're done with the whole text portion. You can do one more thing if you really want to, if you want to make another duplicate again um, and use a dissolve or make this bigger first, just a little bit bigger, right? So just simple control T, make it a little bit more bigger bigger that's that's a word um there we go all right dissolve lower the opacity down and if you want to you can press Control u colorize and then just change this color to like something that would go look good i think a nice pinkish tone would look good with this all this little pink and blue stuff um yeah that looks okay press okay right there and then we'll just move this over a little bit okay and so one more two more things I guess in the bottom of this stuff is gonna make a new layer We're gonna change a color here. We're gonna choose a color. That's gonna be like a darker sort of tone Let's go with something like This now we can change the whole tone of the colors later on in the in the tutorial if we need to with control U and stuff like that But take a soft brush. And we're gonna simply just click around the back just like so and don't go, you don't have to go too like light with it either. Just something like very heavy, sort of like a, like it's like a neon sign, right? So we're going to lower this. Oh, we'll leave that as is right there, actually. Uh, we could though. We can lower it down just a little bit, right? And then we're going to make another new layer right below that one. And this is going to be a lighter tone. So just take this same exact color, just make it a little more lighter. And take the brush. And just, this one is going to, we're going to click a little, little less, just like so. Right? And I'm going to put this on vivid light. And... Put that above that maybe? Yeah, put it on above it. And then mess around with that a little bit. This will just help us enhance the sort of really awesome tones that are coming. I swear, you're probably like, dude, this is this is not looking the same. Trust, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just pick Nick. Uh, now everything above this is gonna be above the actual text layer. We're gonna make a new layer. We're gonna take this pink. You can just choose a pink from on top of the, the actual text that you have going on here. And I'm just gonna click like one or two, three times, just like so. And linear dodge, add. Oops, I didn't meant to use it. I meant to use an eraser, not another brush. So you erase a little bit so it's not crazy. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna lower this opacity down to 65%. And right now, the first thing we're gonna first uh, do is we're gonna go ahead and just shift click on everything, including the background, press Control J, and then Control E. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to multiply. We're gonna change the blend mode to multiply. And we're gonna lower this opacity down as well to about 50%. And this is gonna start off our like our first sort of very really dark scheme going on here. So if you want to, what you can do is use the masking little layer here. If you didn't know about this, you click on it, you click on the thumbnail, and you use the brush. Your brush will be black or white. White will be able to like basically fill it in, and then black, when you switch it over here, will actually erase it. So if you want to, you can now go around a little bit and just get a little bit more lighter tones. Like I would prefer to click where you actually click where the brushes are, because you can see it's kind of dull or whatever. Not that much dull at all, but if you click on it with the actual eraser, it looks like it makes it a little more bright, and that's kind of how you want to have it. You want to make sure you have these tones coming in and out, stuff like that, right? So, right now, pretty much the first thing we're going to be doing, again, 
I keep saying the first thing, it's not gonna work. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna shift click on everything of the text. So we're gonna shift click on everything here. So basically all the text stuff you just did. Control J, Control E it. And then I'll bring this above this here, of course. So you're gonna have something like this, right? This is what you want. It's above the actual text. So it's kind of like the same exact thing right now. We're gonna go to filter, filter gallery. And we're gonna choose the filter gallery path work, which is right here, excuse me, patchwork. Um, and they have the settings at three and then zero for the relief. And I'm press okay. I'm gonna simply take my eraser, or if you want to use the masking tool again, take your brush, nice little black brush, go in here and just erase a little bit. I think the whole pixel sort of thing looks really, really awesome within this little text effect. Cause it just, I don't know, it kind of looks like it's dissolving or rendering or just, it really works out for this, I think. And I'm re the reason why I'm using this as well is I can go back in and kind of fill in maybe like more sort of effect that's that I want in there. But for now, this is perfectly fine. So I'm going to go to brightness and contrast now. It's our first little color correction mix. Uh, mix. And for the brightness, we're going to bring it to negative 40. And for the contrast, we're going to bring it to 35. And that's that. We don't have to mess around with the opacity or anything like that. But if you feel like you need to make it darker or lighter, I would still kind of hold off because there's going to be a lot more color corrections and it's going to be a lot more going on. So right now, we're going to do this one more time. I'm going to do this whole ocean filter stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift click on everything uh, about the text again, right? Control J, uh, Control J, Control E, bring it above everything. And then for this filter, it's going to be filter gallery and it should be ocean ripple here. This is what one you want. Now, if you really want to, actually, if you want to, we're going to do this. We're going to take a full copy of everything, control J, control E, then go to filter, filter gallery, and then use distort ripple, just like so. Press OK. And then for this one, simply just use the masking tool, the black brush, and erase around a little bit. I'm going to erase everything around here just so it's not like weird and ripple and distorted because that would just not work out. And then everything in here, you can just pick and choose where you kind of want to erase, like, you know, I kind of want to make sure I still see the letters though. So it's not completely like really weird and hard to read. So I'm going to make sure I erase all around those letters. I'll keep like some letters like really covered. I don't know, this R, something like that. All right. Okay. Let's just erase the middle of the D and then leave everything on the outside. Okay. Right, not bad. So you kind of see what's going on. You're just building these really awesome layers and these ocean filters, or, or excuse me, the filters in your, your filter gallery. Now, if you want to, you can put as many filters as anything you want on it, but the final result is really this really fun neon sort of awesome effect. And then we're gonna put that little siphoning little thing, I'm gonna call it, because we're just gonna be using liquify anyway, right? So now when I have this done, I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna use a nice little blue here within this actual, uh, my little blue I had here. I, it's not really that blue, it's kind of purplish, but we'll make it into a nice blue. And we're just gonna click a couple times on the outsides here because we like we're using just two tones, right? Just kind of, like, this nice little pink and blue kind of tone thing going on here. So we're gonna follow that through. I'm gonna put this on soft light so it's not crazy, but you can sort of see that nice little blue coming out just a little bit. That's what we want though. So uh, okay, let's go ahead and just put a nice another little blue. We'll use the same. Eh, we'll use like a little darker one. For this one, we'll click over here, sort of like the opposite spots of the pink that we just had. I'm gonna put this on linear dodge. Just like so, and then we're gonna lower this opacity down. Okay, I kinda wanna feel like I wanna click over here as well. Like right here, and then kinda erase what's going on over here. I don't wanna go crazy, but that looks pretty okay, cause all this sort of lighting stuff, all these little brush hits will look really good when, you, when we add like vibrancy, and uh, the, like the, what is it called? The saturation, brightness and contrast. The contrast is gonna make this look really, really awesome. So just hold on, just hold on, we're almost there. So, we're gonna add another color correction, it's gonna be vibrance. We're going to add 10 vibrancy right now, and then we're going to add 20 saturation. So you're going to see this like automatically coming in. So this pink that I have down here, where is it? I believe it is this one. I'm going to press control U, take my lightness and lower it down a little bit because it's a little bit too much. Is this one here as well? Yeah, just a little bit too much. I don't want to come out too crazy right now. I'll put this one up. There you go. Either way, whichever makes it sort of not so distorted. We don't want distortion colors. Um, right now, that looks okay, though. It's not bad right now. All right, sweet. So, after the vibrance, we're going to add a little color balance in here. So, this is something I've been doing, like, doing a lot. I know you guys probably already know. I'm going to use 17, uh, negative 3, or 31, excuse me, and then 19 for this here. So, this is kind of like a nice little 
color balance or whatever if you want to mess around with yours if you're using a different color scheme this is just something that is really really easy and very nicely controlled way of changing your colors around so i'm going to just use my brush here erase around the outsides here because i don't want to mess around with that right now because i'm going to have another sort of final uh color balance in the background that will actually make a nice little gradient in the background as well so for now i'm just going to click in here a couple times trying to get like some color going on but as you can see it looks pretty badass it just kind of enhances the color a little bit so we're going to add a simple little s curve now boom boom s curve just like so we're looking really good so far we're looking freaking awesome uh, let's put it like right there. I'm like it's almost not that much of an S curve. You can just you can kind of mess around the bottom one. Oops, mess around the bottom one a little bit. Um, but the top one just a little, it's a little bit above the line, and this one just a little bit below the line, just a little bit. So after the curve, we're gonna put an exposure in here. So this is just gonna change the last number here from the zero. So it's point zero 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 zero. But there's like four zeros, so we're gonna have three zeros and one six at the end. And that's a little simple little exposure correction just so we don't have that background looking super super blue because we're going to add more and more color correction more vibrancy when we add more vibrancy the color's going to pop out more so the whole point of the exposure is kind of dull it out just a little bit now and also still keep this little vibrant stuff going on in the inside so and i thought about this guys i promise all right so i'm going to take this everything again control j control e we're going to make little distorted lines now this is a really really old little technique used Dude, like 2013, 14, um, 2014, I think. I, I'm chilling, relax. <laughs> 2014, we used to do this a lot, right? You take these little distorted lines using like the M marquee tool here. Take like some distorted lines, just like so. Boom, boom. And we're just kind of like, I'm holding shift by the way to make multiple ones. That one's not really a line. I'll make this super a little skinnier. Now the whole point of this was kind of like to make like a cool distortion sort of like TV almost kind of ripple um, Something like that, right? So we're gonna do is on this uh, This is a full copy of the actual entire design at this very moment If we press M on our keyboard, right? That's what we have already layer via cut is what we're gonna use delete the sort of full thing you had before So you're gonna have this here, right? This right here is actually uh, those little cuts that you made right here So if I move them around with the movement tool just like either a pixel down a pixel up just to just sort of a little bit uh like that it kind of gives that that really cool like tv distortion right there it looks really awesome with this sort of effect as well it gives the kind of the text more character even i'm I, would, I dare to say um so at this very moment in time i can go ahead and add another pink i feel like i can add another pink here because i'm gonna make we're gonna keep making sure we're adding layers of color and light and we're just gonna put this on linear dodge and i'm gonna put this down to around 40 percent just like so now, if you want to change the pink that you have, control U. You can use the hue and saturation here on top um, and kind of mess around with that. Mess around with the lightness and the brightness. Uh, we'll leave it like right there, though. That's fine, right? It's kind of like an orange now, but hey, that looks okay. All right, and we're going to add another brightness and contrast in here right now. So we're going to put it on negative one brightness. Not that, like, I just did that in my actual tutorial, or excuse me, my, my actual example. So I'm just going to do that for the tutorial as well. And I'm going to take my saturation, excuse me, my contrast and put it on to 60. And that looks pretty good right you see the colors more popping out again so at this very moment is a really cool little fun part we're gonna shift click on everything Control j Control e filter and we're gonna go into liquify liquify always takes a little longer than everything but right now my brush is at 300 density is at 78 and your my pressure is at 88 right there so i didn't change that from last time so i'm gonna probably say that those are the effects or assume those are the uh sort of settings that you want to have and you also want to make sure you that you are on which is one is this one called the forward warp tool and basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make sure i just sort of click and give myself as many sort of swirls as i as i want right i'm gonna press Control z all the way back if i need to like sort of fix it um let's go with like like that i'm trying to think of like where the text is i kind of want to have it look like it's siphoning out or something like looks really cool um let's just try it like that a little bit so just mess around a little bit if you need to try it multiple times sure and go for it but right now i think this is okay i'm going to put this immediately on darken so what's going to happen here it's going to look like this and we're also going to just erase everything in the background here just to make sure that's not there so we're going to click in here or zoom in here 
once you raise everything on the background you're gonna have like this little part here that's what you want then at that very moment you probably want to use the actual layer mask here so black brush take an eraser and let's just go around and see what we got here right okay that looks look that looks pretty good now if i didn't erase too much right here let me like kind of focus the eraser a little bit more i didn't actually have to go all the way back by the way i could have just used white like if i want to use white and fill it back in i don't know why i press alt z all the way back but you know just be as careful as you can i'll get rid of that i think that's a pretty good smart move right there there we go and then over here I want to be a little careful right here, but I want to erase just enough right there. And I do believe that looks freaking good right there. I think that looks really awesome. So I just took a, one, it, it took one try, but of course it took me like a lot of tries to get that really cool little swerve. Um, excuse me, like the little swirl for the actual liquify. But once you get it, it looks really good. I think it looks awesome the way it is right there. And pretty much the sort of little final touches is a night another vibrance and color balance and then levels. So we're gonna start off with the vibrance. And for this one, I have it on vibrance at 50. And then the saturation at 25. It brings out the color a lot more. Just like so. If you need to, if you don't like think it's a little bit too much right there, you can lower the opacity down. Don't want to worry about the vibrance stuff like that. But I'll just lower the opacity down just a little bit. It's like 70% vibrance. And then I'm gonna add that color balance again, like I said before. So for this one, I'm gonna use. I believe I use 19, negative 14, oops, 19, negative 14, and then 49. So with this one, I'm going to click on that white little box here, use a black brush, and just erase sort of like, just like this. So I can have like a blue to like like a black, which looks really awesome, I think, in my opinion. But if you want to use like a lot, if you want to have like a nice blue background as well there, that looks pretty good as well. I'll, I'll leave it as is, but I did use like a sort of fade. But I kind of like how this looks right here as well at this very moment. So we're not going to mess around with it. And then last but not least, the last thing I did was use a levels. Now, this is very, very sort of design, you know, I guess accurate or design, I don't know, precise. So my settings might not be the same as yours because, of course, different colors cause different... I guess RGBs to mess around with, but we're gonna go with two, and I had it on I believe 0.92, and then 278, 278. Okay, 228. Yeah, it was 228. I lied. So what this does for me is it brings out all those little white little spots in here, and it just pops it out immediately makes my background a lot more darker and for me this looks hella killer and looks really really good i never used the, what the hell is hella killer okay um just so you guys know my little setup that i did the way i did that was i quickly just sort of used uh what I, what would i do i'll just pretty much control j everything just like this i'm gonna do is i'm gonna erase everything on the outside here all right you can't really see that going on i'll put this on the bottom of everything move this over here and put this on luminosity and let's just lower my opacity down. Take your alt key and just move everything around. And you can make a pretty little, like, fun little kind of, I would, it kind of looks like a, like a graffiti kind of thing going on here. But it looks pretty awesome when you do something like this. This is what I did for my example. And if you want to, you can just combine it all. Control G. Lower the opacity down even more if you need to. All right. Make sure it's on, please, normal. There we go. Nope. Excuse me. Luminosity. And I'll lower the opacity down a little more. It looks pretty fun. It looks pretty freaking. I'm yo. I'm happy it came up this way because sometimes I do the text effects it doesn't come out the most accurate way as I wanted to. But this looks pretty freaking awesome. It looks pretty accurate to what I had before, and I'm very excited for it. I think you guys will really like this as well. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be calling it. Maybe like something like vibrant, siphoning, fun, dark, vibrant, something, something. A lot. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be looking freaking awesome. And I really want to see what you guys create with this actual text effect today. Um. So yeah, I try to go as like slow and sort of precise as possible. But you know, you know, me and slow it doesn't really make any sense. But yeah, I really enjoy this tutorial here. I'm not gonna lie. It's probably like up there with the actual. What's, what was it? The other one called? Let me quickly look because I'm weird and I forget my titles because I never I never make the titles until like five minutes after the video. Um. Oh, the abstract fill-in one. Do you guys really like that one? This sort of plays the same theme, but more of like a really aggressive, sort of really fun 
kind of more like examples. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this video here today. Do not forget to leave a like, twin likes on the video, it goes a secret down below, which will mostly be the PSD of this video here today. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at SysWHQ. And if you guys are not subscribed to me, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to me. It's it's simple, you just subscribe to me and then you get all these new videos every single freaking week. Um, so yeah, don't forget to check out my Selfie, selfie.com slash SysWHQ for any pre mades and packs as well as $5. And uh, as always, guys, enjoy your freaking day, enjoy your night, enjoy whenever you're happily watching this video. Um, yeah, just uh, yeah, just live life, man. I will love you guys. Thank you very much, and for watching. And dude, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm so excited, and like, I don't know what it is. But if you can't tell, I'm not tired. I'm not. I'm just really excited and happy. Just let. I don't know. Hopefully that can kind of like push on to you guys as well. So now we're gonna keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later.